So at the moment, our horses are finishing off the fourth leg and some have already gone out on the fifth, the front runners have. Uh, we've got two Australians left in the competition after I vetted out and uh, Penny Toft decided to withdraw her horse from the competition. Um, Emily Jones, TE, with rider Alexandra Toft is about to set out onto the fifth leg. Um, and hopefully bring home a really good completion for the Australian team if she passes through uh, the vet check after the fifth leg. Um, we've also got Norbert Radney out there still at the moment. Um, hopefully he can come back, pass through the fourth vet check and uh, continue on for Australia as well.
because I wasn't out competing myself, I was lucky enough to get to see the ride winners finish the event. Everyone was lining up about 200 metres down the finish line, waiting to see who would win the event. Uh, and in the end, it was Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum from the UAE. As soon as he finished, he crossed the line and he got off his horse and immediately he was just swarmed with all these people coming to help him. The weather throughout the day, it started off really nice, it wasn't too hot, it wasn't cold, there was a little bit of cloud around, but it's England, that's what you expect. However, uh, later in the afternoon, the weather suddenly turned. The weather's getting crazy, so definitely going to be a big storm, lots of lightning. There was a massive electrical storm, which is not what you want when you've got competitors competitors out in the middle of a course. The ride organisers had to obviously make some tough calls in terms of safety for the horses and riders and volunteers out on course and in the end they decided to cancel the competition which meant that all the competitors who hadn't already left on the sixth and final leg had to remain in base. Uh, fortunately for the Australian team, Alexandra Toft was already out on the last leg. Probably not so fortunate for her uh, being in that horrible weather, but the rain did eventually stop and all the Australian team went up to the finish line to, to wait for Alexandra when she crossed after that final leg. Um, and she did successfully complete. Unfortunately, she was the only Australian rider to do so, but one out of four is definitely better than zero out of four and she definitely completed in fine Aussie style, taking all the weather in her stride. So that was a good thing to end the day with. <laughs> the next day, uh, we took Bombora out of his stable and he was perfectly sound, uh, which was great, but also very sad knowing that it was just something minor and bad luck basically that had caused him to go out. I'm here to pick up a horse. Yeah, no worries. I'm crying so much. I'm so happy. We're taking him home after a very long process. He's going home. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, how beautiful is he? What I learned about Bombora throughout this whole World Championships experience was that he is a great horse. He took everything within his stride and had we not had bad luck, I know that he would have done really, really well because he truly is a champion, even among other champions. A lot of people have asked what's next for Bombora and I, and I think the answer is well, we had, a great, we had a great experience and we'd both love to do it again. Uh, obviously, it's not the easiest thing in the world to get to a world championship, both the dedication and time spent preparing for it and financially getting the horse to a different country is very strenuous. However, we're going to keep competing in Australia, we're going to keep doing our best and who knows, if the chance arises again, we're going to take it and hopefully have a better result. <laughs>